Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So for those of you who regularly follow my channel, uh, you know that I've got a number of trail cameras out in the back of the property. I've got five of them out right now. They are getting old. I've got two that are really quite old. So I have decided to start cycling them out. So I'm going to talk about the camera that I'm going to use to replace uh, one of my old ones. Now this is not in any way a sponsored video. Uh, these folks did not give me this camera. I bought it. I bought it from their website uh, and I'll put a link to that uh, down in the description if you're curious about that. Now the shipping was free which I was a bit surprised at and quite pleased. So what I've got is a Guard Pro E9 camera and let's see I paid with taxes in $131.94 so these aren't things that you're gonna want to quickly replace kind of thing because they're not cheap and that was with a uh, discount that was I believe a 20% discount so that helped so this is the Guard Pro E9 camera. Now I actually did some looking around on uh, Amazon and at least from uh, Amazon Canada, I couldn't get this particular camera. And this seems to be their newest version. And as you know from uh, earlier videos, I have got a couple of these Grade Pro cameras uh, and I've been very happy with the quality of video that comes from them. Now this one is another step up from those cameras, the E9. It has a wireless system on it, which is kind of cool. This is what it's replacing. The camera is already out there. We're going to go out and have a look. So this is the Vantop Ninja One. Now, it's pretty old, and I was never really thrilled with the uh, video quality that came from it. It was never that great. But what I have seen so far from the Guard Pro cameras, the video quality and the microphone on the cameras is actually quite good. So what we're going to do... Yeah, it's still raining. We're going to put on our trusty poncho, jump on the ATV and go out to where that trail camera is and we're going to have a look and see how it's doing. And we'll check out the uh, video quality from it. Now it's in a spot that isn't normally particularly busy. So I'm curious to see what it is we're going to capture on it. And then if it looks like it's doing well, we'll probably take it back out and relocate it to what I hope will be a busier location. All right, let's get on the poncho and go find that camera. Well, it's not raining hard, but it is definitely raining. So I have got my old uh, GoPro 10 on my hat here. So hopefully the sound won't be too bad because I don't have an external mic or anything uh, with that. Because I don't want rain getting into it. So let's go see what we can find. There's our marker there. So this camera has got a Wi-Fi system on it. Um, there are ones by Guard Pro that also will use cellular, but I don't get much in the way of reception out here at all uh, cellular. So those are just a waste of money for me. Now my one concern with the uh, 
Wi-Fi is it may use up the battery quite a bit quicker. I really don't know that. So let's see if we can figure out how to connect with the camera. Get my cell phone out here. Okay, so we're going to look for Wi-Fi. Well, that's not doing much of anything. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's Bluetooth. Let's try Bluetooth. Nope. Well, that is disappointing. Don't see anything there. Okay, well, I thought I had this worked out right, but maybe I don't. So let's just open the camera. Oh, there's lots of mosquitoes around. Let's open the camera up and see what we've got here. Make sure it's actually turned on. Well, the camera is definitely on. Hopefully it hasn't killed the batteries already. So I think what we're going to do is take it back to the shop and have a closer look at it there. All right, let's get back. Well, not the greatest start, but I want to make sure that uh, it's not something I'm doing wrong, which is probably the case. <laughs> It has been so wet out here. We've gotten a total of one day in of haying, which is so insufficient. It's ridiculous. All right, we'll see you back in the shop. All right, we're back in the shop here. Boy, there's a lot of mosquitoes out there. Let's have a look and see if we can figure out what's what I have done wrong here. So camera is on. So there's still lots of battery life. Let's have a look at the menu. Wi-Fi is on. So why I am not picking it up, I don't know. Huh. I just picked up my printer from the house. So obviously I can detect things. So I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi. All right, I'm making no progress. We're going to uh, go into the house and see if we can, uh, we're going to head into my office and see if we can figure out what's going on. Now that is disappointing because I did actually make contact with it before I put the camera out there. I tested it to make sure it worked. So I don't know what's going on. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video, and if you are enjoying it, I'd really appreciate the like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions, thoughts, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work. So, I think as I expected, it was me. I just had an epiphany on the way into my office. Uh, so I turned around and came right back out here. There's an app that you use with these things called the Guard Pro Mobile. So let's turn the app on. Okay, there's the app. I'm going to tell it to connect. So it's connecting through Bluetooth. And then it searches for the Wi-Fi signal. And want to join and then start. 
Okay, so I am actually now, I think, into the camera. So let's have a look at the camera. Oh, look at that. I actually get a live feed from the camera. That's pretty cool. I didn't know it could do that. Uh, let's go to gallery. There's a whole bunch of stuff here from when I set it up in the first place. Bunch of things I didn't know was recording. And have we got anything out on the trail? There's from where we picked it up. So it captured all of that. And we have a few shots here. The uh, microphone is sensitive enough that it picked up the sound of a mosquito. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of shots on here. Not much. So um, I'm going to transfer these to my computer and then put them in this video so we can have a closer look at the kind of quality that this camera is capturing. Seems to be all night shots so far. So that's good. It was me. It was my fault completely. Just because I forgot about the app. So it connected without any trouble and we're now viewing these things. All right, we'll load this up onto the computer. I'll put it in the video here and we'll see what kind of quality we're actually getting from this camera. All right, folks, let's talk about getting the files off of the camera and onto my Mac. So what we'll do, just so we see the timing of it all, is I'm gonna turn the camera on. So we're now on there. And then I'm going to go to the app. My mistake not to remember the silly app here. And I'm going to tell the app to connect. So it's connecting through Bluetooth to start with. Then it's activating the device and I see a little flash on the front and the Wi-Fi has now turned on and it's connecting via Wi-Fi. And it's going to ask to join and I'm going to say yes. And then it asks, then I get the uh, start button here. So it's connecting. I'm going to say start. Now, one thing that uh, I noticed that's really quite cool, you can go live and actually see what the camera is seeing. And that would be quite helpful for making sure that you've got a proper lineup on the camera. Then I'm going to go to, and I can actually shoot a video uh, with that too, or take a picture from there. All right, now I'm going to go to gallery. So I've got seven files on here. Now I can look at them one at a time, or I can look at them by bunch sort of thing. And to download them, I can select all the ones that I want to download or delete one way or another kind of thing. So we're going to select just one of them and I'm going to hit the uh, save button here. And now it has saved to my iPhone. Now from here, I can go into my computer, my Mac, and airdrop all of these files to my Mac. And it happens very quickly. So I had a look at the quality of the uh, video clips that we got. And there was just a few, and I knew that it would be like that uh, because it is not in the greatest of locations. Uh, but the quality is really good. I am very pleased with the quality and very pleased with the sound, as you have seen from 
my other videos. I really like to be able to hear what's going on and share that with you folks in the videos so you get more of a sense of being there. I think it's a pretty neat feature. And with the microphone as sensitive as it is, uh, it really works very, very well. So with all that being said, and as I said at the beginning of this, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I bought this camera myself, and I've got nothing to do with the uh, Guard Pro. So this is all just how I honestly feel about the camera and if I would re recommend it. Uh, and right now, I would say yes. I would definitely recommend this camera. I think it works really, really well. I think the Wi-Fi feature is really cool. And so far, it was out there for a few weeks, and I've seen no drop in the battery. So I suspect what it's doing is it connects through Bluetooth and then turns the Wi-Fi on because I wasn't seeing anything on my cell phone uh, earlier. It wasn't finding any Bluetooth signal or anything like that. It's like the app connects to the camera and turns everything on from there. And uh, that, that's a pretty slick setup. And you'll see the uh, couple of video clips here right at the uh, end of this video. So my next task here is to find a proper spot for this camera. And you folks will see the result of that on my uh, next wildlife camera video, which will be in about a month's time kind of thing. So I hope you enjoy these uh, couple of clips. They're quite short. And let me know what you think and what kind of trail cameras that you would recommend. And if you have had any experience with the Guard Pro cameras. So far, I think it's been pretty cool. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Now oh, I just have to remember to use that app. One concern with the uh, Wi-Fi is it may use up the battery quite a bit quicker. I really don't know. I'd also like to give all my new subscribers a really big thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the videos, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.